Bhagwan. Um, I gave my testimony last time, last year in the church, but uh, I did not tell you my testimony, what happened after I became Christian. So just to give the brief to those who don't know, I am from Roman Catholic background. I was. 25 years I went to church, Roman Catholic church. I read Bible without understanding the context. I prayed daily with the rosary. I wore it around my neck just to, as a belief that it was protecting me whole time. So that was me as a Roman Catholic. And it was in 2015 when Puneet, who is my husband, to those who don't know, uh, it was him who came to TIRC church and, he, and basically he was from Hindu background and he was converted. And when he came to India, he told me everything about the church doctrine, the preaching, the teachings. And I actually did not agree with him because I was from Roman Catholic and how can a Hindu back, Hindu person who just converted three months ago can know so much? I was like, no, it's wrong. And then finally he tried his best to convince me. Like he told me all the truth, all the facts and he gave me the Bible to read, the Christian Bible. And then I read the Bible and there were certain things that actually convicted me. And I, as a Roman Catholic, I was the idol worshipper and that was the thing which actually convicted me a lot and when i realized what i did all those years was wrong i actually cried i confessed to lord jesus christ i repented for the sin and after that day i never turned back to that and but that was actually the beginning of a christian life yes i was converted i became a christian but again there was something that was i was lacking a lot of things i didn't know about I didn't know, okay, now which, which church should I go? And that was a very difficult thing being in India because every stop you will find a church. It can be a Roman Catholic and in Protestant you have like 10 denominations. So I didn't know which church to go. And then when Puneet came back to India, he took me to one of the church and we thought, yes, finally we found a church in India where we can go there. I was happy going to that church and Puneet came to Trondam and whenever he was in Trondam I used to tell him what was happening in the church, the preaching. And something was, he felt a little suspicious, he did a background check on the church and then he told me that's a prosperity gospel church, don't go to that church. And I didn't know, I was like, oh I'm from Roman Catholic background, I don't know what is prosperity gospel, <laughs> to me everything sounds good, okay, because I'm from Roman Catholic, whatever they thought, it was 100% right to me. So that's how it was. I was like, I don't know the, the difference. Then he told me about Mormonism, then the gospel, uh, prosperity gospel preaching, all those things. I was like, oh, I was in a well. I didn't know what was happening in the world. Like There are so many denominations. And that actually opened my eyes. So the, again, there was a consciousness in me that was killing me. Was Okay, I have to go to church every Sunday. And what do I do? I have to hear the word of God. And I don't have the church. And then... I met my cousin, she was a Roman Catholic, and she introduced me to one of the Christian church where she was going, though she was a Roman Catholic. When I went there, I felt the church was really good. And now if I see back to that church, it was just like the TIRC. Mm -hmm. We had like a normal worship, we had a very good preaching, and then there was a fellowship. So it was just like that, and I wanted to get baptized. I went to the church member, I told I want to be the member of the church. They said, yes, okay, we'll get back to you and they didn't get back to me even after a month and i was wondering why didn't they get back to me okay maybe i should go and ask them then i realized that maybe somewhere in me i was not ready to get baptized yet yet because i thought i was ready but actually it was lord who was giving me the hint saying that no maybe you're not ready to get yet to get baptized because you're not fully christian because i was aware of the certain things like i knew how to pray i knew a few things but i was not aware of the doctrines of the church yet and that was it and in this in midst of all this my family didn't know that i was converted to christian they believed me i was still roman catholic and whenever i used to go home i was forced to go to church i was forced to do rosary and that that was something which was not acceptable to me because i was not the same person as i was before and my mom didn't knew that and all I could just think was, okay, I go to, I sing some, like, I see the worldly songs, okay, I do. Okay, just let, if I, even if I go to the church, it's just like, okay, I'm listening to some worldly things. It's no harm in just go, sit there, close your eyes and don't listen to anything. 
I used to do that and at the certain times I just stopped going to my house because I was in different state so I just stopped going to my house and uh, I was avoiding going to the churches when my mom used to take me along I'm like no I have some other things to do so somehow I managed to get away from that and then later yeah I married to Puneet and then I came to Trondheim so it was in 2018 when I came here in March and I was welcome with a lot of books by Pastor Rob actually <laughs> and those were the books that actually encouraged me to be a better person so I read one of the book in um, which it was told about like how a woman has to be in the church or have to be in the society and how a older woman has to be and how a younger woman has to behave in the church or in the society and how can they be an example to other women when I was reading that I was like, okay, I want to be like that woman, but I cannot set an example for those women because I am not perf perfect and of course I cannot be one. But I know that, okay, there are certain things in me that I have to change. And um, it is like, you know, sometimes we don't learn many things from our life. Maybe we can learn from others' life too. And it is the God, God actually shows us the way, like, okay, you can, it's not that you have to always be in that position maybe you can see and learn for to give a couple of instances is um, when i came to trondheim i met a couple of indian families gathering and i saw some ladies the way they were talking to their husband it was very bad like it was abusing and they used to yell at their husband in front of the crowd and they were abusing their husband when the husband was not in that and i didn't feel it right and at the same time i was reading another book called peaceful wife and in that there were a lot of illustrations about the women how they have to be obedient to their husband how they have to respect their husband and I could relate just those instances with the book and then I realized I don't want to be that wife I want to be a good wife to my husband and every day from that day onwards I try to be a better wife I'm definitely not a perfect wife you can ask my husband but I am trying to be a better wife and it was God who actually showed me this path definitely if it was all by me no I wouldn't have attained that thing right now so that was one point of thing and other point other thing that God actually showed me is um, it was when my dad passed away so just before a month before my dad passed away I was seeing a Facebook and I saw a post where I read that one of my uh, batchmates she died in uh, cancer and I was taken aback with that news I was like someone of my age died of cancer I couldn't take it actually and I had a sleepless night and then one thing I realized okay the death is something which we cannot avoid it might come to anyone anytime and I realized okay now maybe my I might die tomorrow I don't know my parents might die tomorrow I don't know because they are getting old my husband might die I don't know what will happen the very next moment only thing I know that's the truth and I have to accept it and actually God actually gave me the strength to accept the truth that yeah the death is something which might come to anyone anytime only thing is you have to accept the truth because you all know that's the truth and you have to accept it so that was the thing I accepted it and from the very next day of that I just started calling my mom and dad I was trying okay I'll be good to them because I don't know if what if I die tomorrow they will be sad that okay I didn't speak to my daughter or maybe if something happens to them I will regret my life saying that okay I didn't talk to my parents I miss, miss, wish I would have spoken to them and I was doing that every day to my parents and after just after a month I got a news that my dad passed away and I was actually a little shocked but I knew that was the truth and I know many of you were praying for me and at the same time God actually gave me a lot of strength to come through this and in this point of life I never questioned God why all I knew was yes this is the truth and I have to accept it all I could pray to God was God give me the strength to overcome this phase of life I know I'm getting weaker but just give me the time to overcome this and actually God comforted me and you know I spent two days just crying 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 for my dad's death because I couldn't even go to India because of the tickets all those things and that was a very sad part and I was his favorite daughter 
that was a thing I felt, but I didn't regret not even for a second because I, though I was not with him at that moment, mm. I used to talk to him daily on over the call. Mm. So that actually made me happy, and uh, mm. I was like, thank you God, at least you made me realize a month prior. Maybe if mm -hmm. I wouldn't, if that incident wouldn't have happened, I might have not realized it. So it is like uh, you know the hint that God has given me. In, at one point of time and I didn't know that this was happening I didn't even realize at that moment but when the moment had passed that was the time I realized yes this was the God's plan he actually made me strong he comforted me and he had always directed me in the right way now all I would say is that like I'm not a perfect girl or anything uh, I'm but I'm trying to be a better person I want to be better because it's not for myself or not for my parents, not for my husband, no. I want, it, I want to be a better person for God mm -hmm. because even it's, it, you, have, you die with Christ and you rise with Christ. So that's what I want to be a person as. And today I am here for my baptism mm -hmm. and which I'm very thankful to God because there was a time I want to be baptized but I didn't get a chance mm -hmm. and now actually I'm, I got a chance to be baptized. So thanks to God, praise be to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank Amen. you.